Hello guys, um, welcome back. This is a quick video. Like I said, I always say the same thing, but um, uh, it's just pretty much an update of the zombie deck. The meta has um, shifted. Drytrons are actually one of the best decks right now. I actually I believe it's better than um, the Dragon Lane. They have a higher ceiling. Trabergy has come to the meta, so I adjusted my deck a little bit to compete with them. Um, it's mostly the same thing, but you'll see some cards that have changed. Obviously, the starter always keep the, the same unit zombie um i cut shirinui to to two i might even take it out if if i if if i get my hands on the new pot i might even take it out because to be honest sometimes this is a horrible horrible starter but cool. and obviously the same glow boom now i up my necro banshee to two because i cut my zombie well to, to two so it's like decent ratio some barrel sometimes it just breaks me. I love the, the card. Sometimes I hate drawing multiple. That's why I also cut um, Dunkin before. I was, I've was i been playing with him. I won for a while, almost a year now, because they're really good cards, but this deck is not like super explosive. So you have to use all the resources you have and not clog your hand. Same thing with um, Golden Lord. Golden Lord is amazing, but multiple. It's too much and having two, it's the minimum because if one gets banished, you better treat the other one as, hey, you have to pretty much, Golden well, Lord becomes more important than looking at a point, okay? Then, um, Jago Bonin, this is really nice, especially depending on the matchup, you um, disrupt their, their um, graveyard and on top of that, if the monster leaves the field, it gets banished, so it's gone forever. It's really, really good. Um, and you go also... Um, not only block an attack, but if if they're trying to banish him, destroy him, or whatever it is, you can avoid it by quick effect, just, you know, tagging out. For um, hand traps, I did up the count to Ash, to Valor, obviously because Tribrigade, and also Drytron, the new, um, the new um, XYZ they have, it's really good to hit with them. Uh, I'm trying out the barrel. Um, eh, I didn't like it too much. I'm gonna keep trying it out. I might just side it again. Um, but I'm maining it right now because of the meta. But I'll see how it goes. To Zombie World, like I said, Chris Allen. Um, I always play at two because I think just three is. I mean, you always want to see this in your hand, regardless. But I just hate just drawing multiples of the same cards because it doesn't give you any more advantage this is a really good card and it makes you win game but just multiple it's i just don't like it to be honest and i never had uh you know a duel that i lost and i said oh if i had a third one of these uh, i'll probably win i never had that so i'm good and on top of that they're expensive for no reason it does it does a lot for your deck but the third one you don't really need it and I when I first bought it, they were really cheap, and I, I just bought it because I, I was playing with two, not because I didn't want to spend for the other one. Um, you have Fully Barrel, which is really good. This is pretty much gets you to anything in the deck. Amazing. How about the Griff? Sadly, it's at one. Um, if if it comes back to three, it actually could hit my deck because it hits everything in the graveyard. But I would want it because my deck is pretty much. Like, <laughs> don't know summon, Ash, Valor, or whatever, and then pass turn if I don't have the Eldritch cards. But I, I would love this to come back to at least two. If they don't make it to three, that's understandable. If they if they semi-limit this, I would be happy at least. Um, the This one, the black, I play one. I never try two. I like one. It is what it is. I normally always... Activates this first to beta ash. If not, then I, I just go off. Um, white. I love this card because, to be honest, I barely get Ice Dragon Prison because this always comes in clutch. But, to be honest, it doesn't give me the best value. I might cut one of these and put um, Tangwing to three. But this is really good. But, uh, I mean,. For sure I will, because sometimes drawing these in the first hand or going first and you have this, this does not, nothing. So I, for sure I will keep one. This is a really good card. 
Um, I even think this is a better card than this, but having two, at least for this meta, it's not not the best thing. Um, obviously the best card in this deck, <laughs> Super Poly. Oh my god, this is just a win. Super good card, amazing card, I love this card. Um, obviously Sanguine to two. Um, if I find the, the third one, I'll buy it in my locals, no one has it. Um, there's not a lot of Eldritch players there, that's why. Um, and one time I seen it, but I didn't want to buy it because I didn't think I needed it. But now I do need it. It's not there, but I'll, I'll get it um, eventually. Obviously, the second best um, Elden car, Conquistador. I love Conquistador, especially right now. Um, with I mean, there's a lot of cards. For example, the the Tribal Gate, how they go into the b Big Bird, some more. You can't target. This doesn't target. This destroys. So this is amazing. Um, Aquero, this has actually become a better card. Maybe even better than Conquistador right now because against the Drytron matchup, this is really good. It's shooting me good. So, I'm only going to play two, but uh, I'll, I'll make sure that I don't waste it. And um, Golden Land, amazing card. Going first, I will keep this going second. I will take it out. Because to be honest, drawing, going second and drawing this card is a dead card. Most likely, you'll probably lose a game, especially that zombies. You can't, you can't clog your hand, like I said. Um, and then rivalry going first. Most likely, I'll keep it, depending on the matchup. Um, normally, this just makes me win the game itself. Um, going second, I obviously do take it out, and sometimes, um, if I lose a second game. And going to the third game, I might take it out and just have more hand traps. Um, because third game, they're going to side all the hate. They're going to side Twin Twisters, Evenly Match, uh, Cyclone, um, all this crap. So sometimes going going um, first, I even side this out because I know that, that they're going to try to hit my whole back row. And I barely set third game. Oh, damn. I started to like um, destroy his back row. Uh, now, now you gotta play against my hand traps. So, um, side deck really fast. Solemn, I might take it out. I barely use it and every time I use it, I would see the brick release. Or when I, I actually use it, it's because they hit me to destroy my whole back row, but then they have something else. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's, I'll probably play some Strike instead. The only reason I actually even play these is because I just want to protect my back row. Everyone at my locals, they know how how I play. So they always side like everything, like back row hate. So I always like playing these, but they don't do anything good to be honest. Even in MASH, I always have this. I barely even use it, but I always keep it because against uh, the mirror match, this is a really good card. Um, in zombies, if you banish like or crap like we're done so i love this and some mashup this is the auto win but yeah i haven't been any, been able to use it um i have one infinite um impermanence i might get another one playing two because of um tribal gay even invoke this is a great card um and around the metal actually this has gotten better um another card that i added i don't know if you guys seen um, Skullmeister, this is really good against a lot of decks now. This is good against Trivagate, Drytron, Invoked, even the, the Mirror Mash. Um, almost every deck uses the the Graveyard, so this is a really good card. Um, I was thinking of mainly this instead of Nimbiru, but I gotta test it out a little bit more. Um, I know you've seen <laughs> that I'm adding more head traps, yeah, I'm going all in. Um, BD Crow, this is mainly for Drytron. I'm actually really scared of Drytron because they got really consistent. I know that um, a few weeks ago they were trash, but now with all the cards that they received, going first is really hard for me to beat them. Unless I draw like Twin, um, not, not Twin Sister, Super Poly, or or I have on Nimbiru, or if I draw good overall. but. That, that's a scary matchup for me to be honest. Now if I go first, for sure then they can beat me. Now, um, for back row, hey, obviously, Harpy Feather Duster, I used to main this, like, for a couple of weeks. I didn't like it in the main, I took it out. Um, it's a break going first, but, um, 
It's a really good card. Raigeki, this is really good, especially against now the Tribal Gate. Get get rid of it because they can't get be targeted, but they could be destroyed. So this is really good. I always side this against Tribal Gate for sure. Good Sorcerer for more back row hate. And the last card, Dark Ruler No More. This is for almost any deck, so that's pretty much it. Now let's go to the to the um, extra deck same thing um Plady, you know for the conquistador and aquero super party target i have obviously the same dragon echo i use this now because um actually it, it won me a game yesterday at the regional it was a small regional i'm not even gonna talk about it because it's it was a half case, barely people showed. I got fifth place, and actually, <laughs> I got some good good cards out of it. But yeah, it was it was. I'm not gonna talk about it. But this is really good, especially against the uh, Dogmatica players. <laughs> I feel bad every time they they make me send two cards because I send this next turn. I get super poly. I get rid of their whole board. Or if they negate, if they're playing invoked and they negate it with Makava, then I, that means I'm pretty much free. I just gotta make sure that I play against the back row. Um, so playing against an invoke player, they're pretty much free. Um, so I love this card. Obviously, more super party target. I play a lot. Um, I'm making sure that <laughs> if I draw super party, most likely you're gonna lose against me. Really good. And the third one, um, this hasn't come up. But this is really good against the Tribal Gate because if they make the statue and all that crap, I could get rid of it. And the good thing is that I could so probably under statue because this is a win. So this is something I'm giving you guys. It's not the best thing, but hey, look, um, I don't use my extra deck that much, and having this for like weird matchups like that, why not? Um, Deco Talker, I love this card. This card makes me win a lot of games and it protects my my um, zombie rock. A lot of people. Look at me dumb, like, oh my god, this guy actually plays Zico Talker, that's trash. Yeah, right, try to beat me, because this is not a once per turn. And all my cards, they, they keep coming up. Conquistador, um, Hokuro, Doom King, so it's like, I don't mind tributing and negating all your stuff. You're not getting rid of my, my zombie role. Dogmatica players, you're not going to do anything um, with your Dogmatica pu punishment. I negate your crap, alright? So, stop it. Um, Nightmare. I didn't have anything else to put. I guess it's not bad if I'm going for a game or if you're not I'm in a tight situation, just to bounce it back. Um, because I, let's like say I cannot get over it because he's a big monster, um, and I cannot attack over it. I just go into him, put it back into the deck or whatever, and it's it's situational. But this is not a bad card. Um, this is an MVP. This is one of my favorite um, Blink ever. This is such a good card, it makes me win so many games and people don't know his effect, but amazing. And obviously, um, the best Link that I have, even better than him, her, amazing. This card, oh my god, people sleep on the Vampire Sucker, but oh my god, this card is so good. Makes you draw, maybe in either turn, so you're always drawing cards. And on top of that, it gets rid of problematic cars, really problematic cars. Oh, you can't you, you can't be targeted. Oh, you can't you can't do this. You can do that. All right, you know what? I just tribute for for a tribute summon. <laughs> this tribute your opponent's monster for a tribute summon. Read the card. No one uses it for that because it doesn't come up. But for me, it does. Really good. Dragoon, what tribute? Um, this is just game. If I resolve this, and well, actually, if I resolve this going second, and you don't stop it, most likely I'm gonna I'm gonna OTK you with this. Um, and then the rest, Nightmare Phoenix barely comes out, but it's actually good. I would never take it out because it, it comes up like few times, but it does come up, and I like the fact that I can discard. Um, and Link Karibu, Link Karibu is just really nice. Um, you know why not? Uh, with with um, globe and you know that's a way a lot of way especially that I play um my favorite like I always bring him out it has it has um its utility so it's not bad 
So that's pretty much it guys. I will actually be changing the deck. I will be getting more cards to um, play against the meta right now. It hasn't failed me. I love this this deck. I will always keep playing zombies. Um, I know I, I promised you guys a, a dragon dragon deck, but I've been extremely busy. I'm also very lazy, and I'm just waiting for the ban list to happen. Cause I don't like I don't want to waste the money. And then those type of decks they always get hit, and that's why I, I always like playing zombies. Cause it's a fair deck. It's a good deck and it never gets hit on the ban list. And everything that I invest into this deck, I'll get it back. That's why I like it. Uh, I've been trying out a lot of variation with um, with my Lair deck. My Lair is such a, a slow deck and it does need more um, support. But that's about it guys. Thank you for watching. Any comment, concern, let me know in the comments. And um, I'll reach back to you guys. Thank you guys. Um, sub and give a big like. Alright, thank you.